Hi, it's Chris, K2CJB with K2CJB Radio. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to continue along in our mobile HF installation project and we're going to bond the vehicle. And what that provides is an RF ground or think of it as a counterpoise or a ground plane for the antenna system that's mounted on the truck. This will make the, the antenna a little more efficient. It's a compromised antenna to start with but this will add a little more efficiency to it. And what we use to do that is braid. This is a braided wire, um, three quarter inch braid. It's very flexible, but also it takes into account the skin effect of RF signals the way it travels on a wire. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna bond various components of the truck together mechanically using this braid. So stay with me, let's get the project started. The first place we're gonna start is to bond the hood of the engine compartment to the body of the truck. And we'll do that by loosening a bolt here for the hinge and one bolt here in the body, and we'll put the braid underneath those. Let's see how long a piece of braid we need. This is a rocket science, so that should work. The way I'm gonna fit the braid under the, the bolts is to simply just use a, a punch. Well, actually, this is a nail set I'm using, just to spread the braid open a little bit, and then I'll have a nice clean hole. Now we'll do the same thing for the top. You'll notice I did not scrape any paint. Uh, the research I've done, and I think Alan talks about it on the uh, K0BG site, and there's other sites that talk about it too, that actually the metals that they use in trucks, if you go, to, there's some sort of a zinc layer on it. I'm not an expert at this. But if you sand that off or scrape that off down to bare metal, you are asking for corrosion and rust. So um, it's not a matter of making a really, it's great if you get a good electrical connection, but really the RF will travel where it needs to travel. So this is really just to, to bond everything together into a coherent counterpoise, if that makes any kind of sense. So we have braids on both sides. So now the hood is bonded to the body of the truck. So here in the back of the truck, I wanna bond the bed to the frame of the truck. I'd like to do that in all four corners if I can. So back here, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna take the bracket back off again that we mounted the other day and put the braid underneath the screws and then we'll run that underneath. I found a spot on the frame, a pre-trilled hole already there. I'll just put a bolt through it and I'll connect the braid to the frame that way. So with one of the screws in, you can get an idea what I'm doing here. Got the braid underneath the bracket and I'll put the screws right through the braid into the truck. Okay, here's how we look underneath. There's a connection to the frame with a lock washer underneath it. There's the braid and it clears the tailgate and it goes right up underneath the bracket for the antenna. Now we'll do the other side. Here we are down on the passenger side and I could not get the same spot on that bracket. So here's another bracket. That's where the bumper mounts onto. I think we'll be okay there. A couple of sheet metal screws with some star washers and flat washers and we've got the driver's side of the bed bonded to the cab. And we did the same thing on the passenger side. What's left to do now is I wanna bond the exhaust system to the frame. And I wanna do that before the catalytic converter and after. So I'm gonna crawl underneath and see if I can find two spots to do that. Well, as with most projects, <laughs> there's good news and bad news. The good news is we were able to clamp onto the exhaust system. The bad news is this truck has two catalytic converters and I only had about six inches of braid left after I made the connection in the middle of the exhaust system. So we're not gonna be able to fully bond it like I was hoping to. I think the, down the road, I get some more braid. I'll probably get underneath there and do some more. I'll show you what I've done so far and then we'll talk through everything we did in this project. So this is the spot I was able to get the braid in the center of the exhaust system. Hose clamp and I sanded that pipe, got the rust off it, the surface rust off it. Hose clamp onto the pipe and then bolt it into the, an opening that was already in the frame. Okay, so let's talk about what we've done today. We've bonded the truck uh, as much as we could. I say as much as we could because I ran out. That's all I've got left of braid 
uh, for this project. So if I want to do any more, I'll have to get some more braid for it. But I think we're in pretty good shape. We've bonded the hood of the truck to the cab. We bonded the cab to the bed. And both of those were done in two places. We bonded the back end of the bed to the frame. And that was done in two places. And I was able to bond the exhaust system. It was right kind of in the middle of the exhaust system to the frame. So we've got quite a bit of bonding done, mostly horizontal surfaces. I didn't do any vertical surfaces, and there is a school of thought that says that that doesn't matter. It's really about getting the ground plane uh, straightened out. So, so that's what I bonded. That's as far as we got. Um, you know, I took the truck out before uh, to get some lunch before I did the exhaust system uh, bonding. And I'll tell you, with the CB, the dopey little AM radio CB in there, the ignition noise was down significantly. So I think we've got some, we've made some progress here. So anyway. That's bonding. That's how I did it. Um, leave some comments below if, if you think we could do something different with it. Um, I'm sure, look, I'm no expert. I'm sure there's some things I overlooked. So if this helped you, if you're doing a mobile uh, HF uh, installation in your car or truck and this helped, hey, hit subscribe, hit like, ring, hit the bell so you get a ding next time I do something else. There's more coming on this project. Uh, I still have to put the radio in, right? So still have a lot more to do. So until next time, 73 K2 CJB.